Thank you, Mrs. Huerta. And I'm going to ask for those here with Mission of Mercy, if you can please come forward. Good morning, how are you? It's good to see all of you all here. And what great work, Miss Odd, happy to see you. Now, I, I've seen firsthand the work that you all have done and um, we could not do it without you as far as uh, helping those who need the most help uh, regarding their health care. That's one of the biggest anxieties that uh, people have as far as getting um, qualified and professional health care and just to try to uh, make sure that they can get through day to day. So uh, really appreciate what you all do in recognizing the Mission of Mercy. It's an independent 501c3 non-sectarian community-based organization that seeks to restore dignity to the uninsured and uninsured working poor by providing free health care and assistance with free prescription medications. Since Mission of Mercy's first clinic day on September 17, 2007, they have provided more than 25,000 free patient visits and more than 15,000 free prescription medications. Through the dedication of time, talent, and treasures of their 80 physicians, nurses, and volunteers with their 40-foot medical van, the work of Mission of Mercy Texas Mobile Medical Program has been critical to assisting patients in Corpus Christi, Flower Bluff, Robstown, Orange Grove, and Sandia. Mission of Mercy, they seek to restore dignity to their patients by being an instrument of healing through love and certain through your professional care and through your hearts. So now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as your mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby humbly proclaim September the 17th, 2016 Mission of Mercy Mobile Medical Program Clinic Day uh, in Corpus Christi, Texas, and I encourage all of our citizens to congratulate Mission of Mercy for their commitment to health and well-being of the uninsured and underinsured population in our community. Thank you. I would just like to thank the Coastal Bend community for supporting this nonprofit. These individuals you see before you are just a small fraction of the many volunteers that assist us in fundraising and medical attention to our patients. Without their time, talent, and treasure, we would not be able to fill this extreme need in our Coastal Bend community. Many of our patients fall through the cracks. They make uh, too much money for uh, the county card and they cannot afford Medicare, Medicaid, or insurance. So we are here to assist them. We do not ask questions. Um, many of them do not have a social security card. We just want to find them the medical care that they need. So on behalf of Mission of Mercy, thank you for assisting us in bringing this medical care to the Coastal Bend community. And we are very excited to announce that we are about to break ground on a medical center, a two-story medical center, and we had a generous donor in the Coastal Bend donate 2.7 million, right at 3 million, to build this facility. It will be at the corner of Ayers and Baldwin, next to the Wiener Schnitzel. You know where it is. <laughs> and uh, we hope to break ground possibly next month. Um, if we are lucky, it will have a ribbon cutting at the very end of next year, if not very early 2018. Thank you for your support and all that you do. Thank you.
what you do. Congratulations. Congratulations. Beautiful donation. Congratulations. It'll be a nice building. Congratulations. 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 Thanks for y'all's work. Okay? Yes, okay. Thank you. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. Beautiful donation. It looks like a beautiful building. Keep up the good work. Congratulations. Coastal Bend Walk and Roll Celebration for Disability Awareness Day. Boy, wasn't that a great day yesterday at the RTA? Yeah. Come on, front Mary Signs and Mike. Yes, please come forward. everyone in here and thank you this was the the beautiful buses that we saw yesterday at the RTA and um, October is National Disability Employment Awareness Month and October 15 2016 is National White Cane Day to be honored by the 8th Annual Coastal Bend Walk and Roll celebration on Saturday September 24th that's this Saturday we dedicate the 2016 Coastal Bend Walk and Roll Celebration to the community faces of the ADA Americans with Disabilities Act. The Coastal Bend Adaptive Sports Foundation is built on the premise of helping people with disabilities to push themselves to new levels they might not have discovered otherwise to ensure that any individual, any individual with a physical challenge and the desire to be more than their disability has the opportunity to acquire the proper equipment, advice, and help. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as your mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim September 24th, 2016 as Coastal Bend Walk and Roll Celebration for Disability Awareness Day in Corpus Christi, Texas. And I encourage all of our citizens to celebrate the vital contributions of individuals with disabilities we are very proud of the advances that have been made and here at Human Relations uh, Department on behalf of our city council and our staff. Um, it's a great partnership and we're gonna continue to build on this and thank God for the American Disability Act. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, I'm Sara Salvide and I'm one of the volunteers, one of the many volunteers that participate in the walk and roll celebration. Uh, everything that we do is done on a volunteer basis. Our program, our celebration day, which is Saturday, is free. Uh, so we want to thank all of those corporations in the community uh, for their contributions, for their generosity in making this day possible. In 1990, the American Disabilities uh, Act was uh, signed and it has transformed the lives of millions and millions of Americans. So we're truly blessed to have had those individuals fight that war for us. What we want to do is highlight the contributions that individuals with different abilities have to make to our city and to our coastal bend. And so we want for you to join us for our eighth annual celebration. It's uh, on the waterfront, or basically the bayfront uh, water park. And literally people are there from six o'clock in the morning to start registering at 6.30. We have 500 t-shirts that we give out to the first 500 uh, participants, and believe me, those t-shirts run out. So our, uh, uh, our participation rate has increased year after year, and we are really pleased to also be 
the entity that kicks off October as the National Disability Employment Awareness Month. So we want to give everyone the opportunity to find a job that they find uh, worthwhile and to make a contribution to the community. Please join us. We'd love to see you there. The mayor has been there. Different elected officials have been there. So we have great participation. It's a wonderful day for the family. Uh, so we would really encourage you to join all of us on Saturday morning, 6 o'clock in the morning. We'll be there setting up our tents and our tables. Uh, and we have a whole morning of, uh, of activities. The walk is non-competitive, so we walk at our own rate. Uh, because I would never finish the walk in time. <laughs> That's for sure. So anyway, we invite all of you to come. We want to thank the mayor, the city council, and everyone who participates in this event uh, to highlight again the abilities that all of us have to make a contribution to our city and our country. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sada. Very proud of you. Thank you all. Thank you for what you do. Bridge, good to see you, sir. Right. How are you doing? Doing okay? Corpus Christi Heart Walk Day. Heart disease affects more than 85,600,000 adults in the United States and stroke is a leading cause of long-term disability. More than 80% of heart disease and stroke is preventable based on lifestyle changes. You know, I'm sorry, I'm taking pause on this because all, this has touched all of our lives. And um, so I just want to take pause so I can recompose myself because how it touched my life. But the American Heart Association has set a goal to reduce the number of heart disease and stroke related deaths by 20% by the year 2020. This goal also aims to increase the heart health of all Americans by 20%. The community-wide Corpus Christi Heart Walk celebrates survivors and honors loved ones who have lost their battle with heart disease and stroke. The annual event also raises significant funds to support research, education, advocacy, and quality initiatives in our community. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as your mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby humbly proclaim October the 1st, 2016, Corpus Christi Heart Walk Day in Corpus Christi, and I encourage all of the citizens to participate in the 20th annual Corpus Christi Heart Walk, which will be held on Saturday, October the 1st, at Waterburger Field this year. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Um, like she mentioned, this year is our 20th annual Corpus Christi Heart Walk. We um, have had so many people participate in the past. Last year, we doubled the amount of people that attended, and we had over 3,000 participants. So we're really looking to grow that this year. Um, it's going to be on Saturday, October 1st at 8 a.m. at Waterburger Field. We'll have all kinds of fun activities going on. We'll have hands-only CPR demonstrations. We'll have Kids Zone teaching gardens, a prize giveaway area. So we really encourage everyone to come out there. It is free to participate, and anyone that raises at least $100 will get an event t-shirt. And you can go online to corpuschristiheartwalk.org to register up until the, the night before the Heart Walk. Yes, and my name is Brittany Sandback, and I'm um, the corporate market director for the Heart Walk at the American Heart Association. Only Pete was done. Pete didn't get the ladies' first message. Good to see you. Doctor, great to see you. Thank you. Thank you. The official kickoff of the 2016 United Way of the Coastal Bend Annual Campaign. Bob, good to see you all. Come on in, hi. Oh gosh, she's wonderful. We appreciate all of you. I know you have a partnership with the city as well. And for 80 years, the United Way of the Coastal Bend has improved lives by mobilizing the caring power of community throughout B, Brooks, Duval, Live Oak, Kennedy, Clayburg, Nueces, and San Patricio counties. It's a large area that you all are covering. Its purpose is to create a better life for the citizens of the Coastal Bend by focusing on education, financial stability, and health through community fundraising and investments addressing the pressing needs of our friends and neighbors. The United Way of the Coastal Bend ensures that 100% of the funds raised annually will remain local, including the over 106,000 raised in 2015 by the City of Corpus Christi employees. Thank you, employees. Uh, these dollars are invested in critical needs to change the Coastal Bend for the good. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as your mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby humbly proclaim October 2016, the official kickoff month of the 2016 United Way of the Coastal Bend annual campaign in Corpus Christi, Texas, celebrating the 80th anniversary of the United Way of the Coastal Bend and hereby encourage all of our citizens and city employees to participate in assisting this important broad-based organization. God bless you all. Thank you, Mayor and Council Members. I'm Katrina Wilson. I have the incredible honor of serving as the CEO for United Way of the Coastal Bend. And we are, we're so excited, like, like you just read, this is our 80th anniversary, and we are truly your United Way. We are so proud that 100% of the funds that we raise stay here. We believe in that. What's raised here stays here. And we are actually just blessed to have had a long-term partnership with the city of Corpus Christi employees. Last year, like you said, they raised over $106,000 that goes right back into this community. I have to give them a yes. They're an 
incredible, incredible group. I see you, Miss Wilson, <laughs> back there. Just an incredible group here. And, you know, you hear about our dollars and how they're invested right back here. Well, last year, your gifts touched over 120,000 lives right here. That means every day someone is impacted by the gifts that have been invested in us, and we appreciate um, the fact that you trust us, that we will be good stewards of your dollar, and we are excited about changing lives and changing our community for better it's a great to increase it. It has great people. It Thank does. You. Yeah. Thank you all again, and we'll take a quick picture here. Yes, I agree. That's why I wrote it down. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, John.